STS-61A also known as D1 was the 22nd mission of NASA's Space Shuttle program. It was a scientific spacelab mission, funded and directed by West Germany, hence the non-NASA designation of D1 for Deutschland 1. STS-61A was the ninth and final successful flight of Space Shuttle Challenger. STS-61A holds the current record for the largest crew, eight people, aboard any single spacecraft for the entire period from launch to landing. The mission carried the NASA – ESA Spacelab module into orbit with 76 scientific experiments on board, and was declared a success. Payload operations were controlled from the German Space Operations Center in Oberpfaffenhofen, West Germany, instead of from the regular NASA control centers. Topic: Crew. Topic: Backup crew. Topic: Crew seating arrangements. Topic: Mission summary. Space Shuttle Challenger lifted off from Pad A of Launch Complex 39 at Kennedy Space Center, Florida, at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on October 30, 1985. This was the first Space Shuttle mission largely financed and operated by another nation, West Germany. It was also the only shuttle flight to launch with a crew of eight. The crew members included Henry W. Hartsfield, Jr., Commander, Stephen R. Nagel, Pilot, Bonnie J. Dunbar, James F. Bookley and Guyan S. Bluford, Mission Specialists, and Ernst Messerschmidt and Reinhard Führer of West Germany, along with first Dutch astronaut Wubbo Ockels of the European Space Agency (ESA), all payload specialists. The primary task of STS-61A was to conduct a series of experiments, almost all related to functions in microgravity, in Spacelab D1, the third flight of a Spacelab orbital laboratory module. Two other mission assignments were to deploy the Global Low Orbiting Message Relay Satellite out of a getaway special canister in the cargo bay, and to operate five materials processing experiments, which were mounted in the orbiter's payload bay on a separate device called the German Unique Support Structure. The experiments included investigations into fluid physics, with experiments in capillarity, Marangoni convection, diffusion phenomena, and critical points, solidification experiments, single crystal growth, composites, biological studies, including cell functions, developmental processes, and the ability of plants to perceive gravity, medical experiments, including the gravitational perceptions of humans, and their adaptation perceptions processes in space, and speed-time interaction studies of people working in space. One equipment item of unusual interest was the vestibular sled, an ESA contribution consisting of a seat for a test subject that could be moved backward and forward with precisely controlled accelerations and stops, along rails fixed to the floor of the Spacelab aisle. By taking detailed measurements on a human strapped into the seat, scientists gained data on the functional organization of the human vestibular and orientation systems, and the vestibular adaptation processes under microgravity. The acceleration experiments by the sled riders were combined with thermal stimulations of the inner ear and optokinetic stimulations of the eye. NASA operated the shuttle, and was responsible for overall safety and control functions throughout the flight. West Germany was responsible for the scientific research carried out during the seven-day mission. To fulfill this function, German scientific controllers on the ground worked closely with the personnel in orbit, operating out of the German Space Operations Center at Oberpfaffenhofen, near Munich, West Germany. 
The orbiting crew was divided into two teams, working in shifts to ensure laboratory work was performed 24 hours a day. Communications were optimal throughout the mission and the ground and orbital crews were able to interact regularly. The overall system of one control center controlling spacecraft operations and a second controlling experiment functions worked smoothly in practice. The GLOMR satellite was successfully deployed during the mission, and the five experiments mounted on the separate structure behind the Spacelab module obtained useful data. Challenger landed, for what was to be the last time, on runway 17 at Edwards Air Force Base on November 6, 1985. The wheels stopped rolling at 12.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, after a mission duration of 7 days and 45 minutes. STS-61A marked the final successful mission of Space Shuttle Challenger, which would be destroyed with all hands on board during the launch of the STS-51L mission on January 28, 1986. Topic Records STS 61A with its crew of eight set a record as the highest number of people in space on a single spacecraft. The first seven person shuttle mission had been STS 41G in October 1984. STS 61A was not the first space shuttle flight of an ESA astronaut or a West German citizen, as Ulf Merbold, who also served as the backup on this mission, had previously flown on the STS 9 mission in 1983, but Wubbo Ockels became the first Dutch citizen in space. Guyan S. Bluford at the time was already the first African American in space, having previously flown on STS-8. With STS-61A he became the first African American to fly in space twice. He would later go on to fly on STS-39 in 1991 and on STS-53 in 1992. Bluford was a member of the U.S. astronaut class of 1978. See also List of human spaceflights List of Space Shuttle missions Space Exploration Space Shuttle Challenger Space Shuttle Challenger Disaster Space Shuttle Program Spacelab <laughs>